my name is Mario Lendo, and this is my YouTube channel. Um, my YouTube channel will be based about football stuff, football content, um, football related stuff, football related stuff. Um, I am Mario Lendo, of course, and um, yeah, I'm a 21 year old footballer from the island of St. Lucia. Um, I spent the past two years playing football in Mexico with a couple of professional teams over there, three, prof three professional teams. And that built my confidence and that has, um, you know, made me feel better as uh, a footballer and as a person and also given me a lot of confidence going forward in my pursuit of a professional football contract. I am looking forward to starting a YouTube channel just to keep myself accountable and, you know, to just, you know, to make the journey more interesting. Um, yeah, I have been playing football for the past 15 years, 15 years, I started, I started out with my local club here in St. Lucia, first touch pioneers, and then I got a scholarship at the University of the West Indies, was, and then after that I went to Mexico, so yeah, the football journey has been interesting, and obviously lots of ups and downs, but obviously a lot of nice moments as well, and you know, I'm just looking forward to just starting the, the YouTube channel, just to monitor the progress, and just to keep myself going. Right now, I'm in my country, uh, St. Lucia. I was supposed to only be here for a couple of months, two months, but I got an injury a couple of weeks ago and has kept me out, kept me out and stopped me from going back to Mexico in time for the January transfer window. So my plan, my original plan. But um, right now, my focus is just to recover from the injury. It's a MCL injury, it's a strain on the MCL. The stage I'm at right now, my focus right now is just to continue my recuperation. I have a doctor's appointment this week, so hopefully it's a positive stuff comes from that and I can just start back preparing myself to get back on the pitch. Um, obviously, I'm looking forward to the year 2022. I hope it's a good year for me, a positive year for me. And I am looking forward to just having fun in the football and, and signing my first professional contract. Footballing wise, I have spent the. As I said, I spent the last two years in Mexico. Um, I was there with three clubs the, the third division reserve team of the Intercurritoral team. I was only allowed to play the reserve for the reserve team there because that division in Mexico, which is known as the, known as the Tercera division or the Liga TLP, is for only Mexican players. so I was unable to play there, but that's how I initially entered Mexico with that, with that team, Intercreditor, and through a gentleman called Mauricio. And, um, and um, then I later went to another team called Arrozero de Cuautla, which is a team in the second division, which is the third tier Mexican football. And there I had good times, you know. Um, I met a lot of top players, that's when I first really got exposed to the professional side of the game. The intangibles, a lot of intangibles, you know, and it was a good experience for me. I still have a lot of contacts from there, a lot of friends from there, from the, from the town, from the, from the state, from the club, the people from the, the, the city, you know. So it's a, it was a good experience for me there, and I really enjoyed it. I still have close contact with the club president there. So, you know, I really enjoyed my time. I really enjoyed my time there with the Kautla. Um, there was the first time I really got to play with professional footballers, guys with youth national experience and the 17 and the 20 for Mexico guys who were playing the national and the 20 team the year before. Playing the session with players like Diego Lainez and top players. And, you know, for me to be training these guys, taking tips from these guys, I, it was a good experience for me and I definitely really appreciated it. And then I, I was supposed to sign for that team actually, the Arrow Zeros they called love, but obviously um, that team went down to the Serie B. The Liga Premier Reserve, which is the third tier, the second division, where Cobla is. Um, there are two tiers, Serie A and Serie B, and the Serie B is only for the the Mexican players, so I was unable to sign there, but 
it was a bit disappointing because you were looking forward to something you're looking forward to, forward to something and planning for something and everything is in place and everything is sure but then you know that's how football is nothing is really ever certain so yeah definitely that was a good experience for me and um what else what else um yeah so during that summer i did a couple trials for a couple teams i was in contact with about three four teams uh, many teams in that in the third tier the Liga premier i'm not interested in signing foreigners and also there are only two foreigners per team so it's a bit complicated so yeah i was i went to a couple trials with a couple teams i did very good on trials which also boosts my confidence um yeah um i was at one team i did the trials they really impressed with me the head coach really liked me but obviously the owners were not interested in foreign players but sometimes they, they think the foreign, the foreign players bring troubles because of the wage demands etc etc so some of them just prefer the local players it's easier for them to manage so um yeah and then i had another trial at another team where the person was really interested in me as a player so I was training there with them as almost like a pre preseason, but as soon as the head coach came, he came with two Chilean Chilean players. So obviously, they feel like two foreign sports. So then it was getting close to the 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 end of the transfer window, I would say, and I went to try for another team. I to really try out. Um, I messaged them. They told me to come tomorrow. I had to get a bus there and. I had to get the bus the night and for the trial. I messaged them. And the last team I went to was um, Lobos ULMX, ULMX, which is like the second team of the Celaya, Celaya FC, which is a team in Liga Expansion, which is the second tier of Mexican football, but it's the first division. So, yeah, it was a good experience. It was a good experience for me there, like the Lobos team. I went to the trials there. It was a uh, three-day tryout. I contacted the, the administration and they told me if I can get there tomorrow, I can get the tryout. So I, I think I traveled about seven hours. So I stayed there for three days. And then after the tryout, I asked the coach um, what the, was the, what the footage, what the outcome. And he said, um, yeah, I could stay with the team. But obviously, he told me that he had his two foreign players already. So I would have to stay as like a training player, which I didn't have a problem to. I didn't have a problem with because at Pop I was already like a training player there, so I guess I wasn't disappointed, but I was a bit disappointed, I would say, because obviously I wasn't able to secure a contract because it was already August and the league started in September. But it felt good that I did so well on the trial that the, the coach decided to keep me as a player, so that, that felt very good. Um, uh, yeah, so I was there for three weeks and then I decided to decided to leave to go for my work visa but obviously I had some complications with my work visa and then I was not allowed to re-enter Mexico so then I decided to come back home to St. Lucia and that's where I'm at right now um, it has been an interesting journey for me so far very interesting journey because um, so much things happen along the way so much decisions to make so many hard decisions to make because I was at the Lobos team the second division the second team for the Celaya team and um, I decided to stay when I could have still gone out to other teams to pursue the contract but if I didn't get the contract at these other teams at these other teams I won't have been allowed to come back and train the Lobos team so it was a bit of a sticky one still but um, you know that's football you have to keep you have to, keep it, you have to take the risk so I decided to play safe and not go to any more tryouts because I've, I've, I've been to a couple where I played well and complications, it's always complicated or they had the foreigners already or they bring the foreigners from the higher teams or foreigners with experience or foreigners that already have the work visa, so it's complicated. I had a teammate who was supposed to stay at the logo team with me as well, it was another foreigner that we were the two guys who were not going to sign that were allowed to change the team. But he decided to leave and go to a tryout at another team and then a week later he, he signed his contract so football is complicated and it's hard to know if a team 
12 hours away has um, foreign players. Our team, 8 hours away has foreign players. Sometimes the only way for you to find out is for you to, to travel, take a bus, take a plane flight. So it's, it's, it's tough. It's tough. Um, so, so it's tough. So obviously, I had to make some decisions there and but in the end I wasn't able to get a work visa so in the end I wasn't able to get a work visa and even if a team was interested in signing me um, I wouldn't have been able to sign so I guess um, that's how things turn out for now um, my plan is to be back in Mexico for the next transfer window which is I think the third tier the third tier the third division, the third tier, which is the second division, um, and the first division, Liga Expansion, which is the second tier, is the seasons and in April. So my plan is to be there back in Mexico about that time. And um, yeah, hopefully something positive comes out. The past couple of weeks I've spent 10 emails, lots of emails, 50 plus emails to agents, teams, but obviously a bit barren. Nothing really came out of that, but as football you have to do these things and sometimes something comes out, something, sometimes nothing comes out because all it takes is one reply. So, yeah. My plan is to continue to be active on the YouTube platform. I'll try to post my plan is to post once a week obviously I'm injured now so I can't do any um, gym session videos or training clips or anything of that sort but obviously I could still speak about my experiences at the at the national youth level um, traveling with the national youth team what the experience is like being a national youth team captain what the experience is like um, training professional teams, living with professional players, living in a country and speaking a language that is not your first language, living in a country where the language is not your first language. So, I have a lot of experience with that. So, my plan for the next coming weeks is just to speak on this stuff and um, maybe just keep you guys updated on my injury and yeah, and see how things progress along. Thank you everyone for watching and taking the time out get through this part of the video um, sorry about the facial expressions and it's really hot um, what else yes um, please like share and subscribe and I look forward to seeing